Course layout. As a teacher, you have a lot of control over how your course appears to your students. For example, if your organization allows, you can change the full name of the course, which is in large here, and the short name of the course, which appears here. You can also change the format, how your resources and activities are displayed. This course is in numbered topics, for instance, which can be renamed, as we'll see later. Many of the changes you can make may be done from settings in course navigation. This takes you to the setup screen of your course, where you can change, if you need to, its full name and its short name, and again, only if allowed by your organisation, the category in which it appears. You can hide it until you're ready, and set course dates, although note that the end date will not prevent students from accessing the course. You can also add a description of your course for students who are not yet enrolled, and if you wish, you can upload a course image, which will show on the My Courses page. If we click Course Format, this is where we can choose how we'd like the resources to be displayed. Topics gives us numbered topic sections. Here, we can also select to have Weekly Format, where the sections are named as Weeks. Social Format is basically one big message board for discussions or single activity format, which would allow you to add just one particular item, such as a SCORM package or a quiz. Appearance will allow you to decide, for example, how many news items you want to show in the Announcements forum. If you set it to zero, you can then delete the Announcements forum if you don't think it will be useful to you. Think about whether you want to show activity dates on the main course page. They will always show within each activity. Completion tracking, if enabled, will show students what they must do to complete items and will keep a record of what they've done. These conditions will always show within each activity, but you can choose whether or not to display them on the course page as well. Options can be explored by clicking on them and expanding them. If we click Save and Display and then click Participants, Enrolled Users, Role Renaming. If you don't want to call your students students, but you want a different name, Learners for instance, then you can change the name here and it will appear just in your course. If we now click to save, then in the next video we will enable edit mode and look at the changes we can make to a course, such as how to rename those sections.